Hello, my name is Eddie Toffig. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here is your daily technical analysis for foreign exchange markets. I'll start with the euro against the dollar. A third bearish black crow on yesterday and a continued follow on lower to the recent reactionary bearish dark cloud cover pattern. Prices this time found a cap in the congestion between 103.38 to 103.69 and stretched down within a fairly free area until just short of the upper trend line, currently 101.96, of the September to date ascending, expanding, well, ascending wedge pattern, not expanding, just ascending wedge pattern. This was also in between the upper time, currently at 104.85, and the middle time, currently 101.15 of the broken but seemingly still influential January to May 2021 bearish Andrews pitchfork. This one all highlighted once again the two recent core patterns seen here. We have a September to date ascending triangle and a September to date ascending wedge pattern. The wedge pattern is currently 98.84 to 101.96. I've highlighted the ascending wedge pattern in blue to show you a clear idea of what I'm talking about. Both these patterns have had false breaks in both directions which complicated things and compromised both patterns. However, both patterns repaired themselves and two weeks ago we saw a clear break above the upper trend line of the ascending wedge pattern. This left us with topside opportunities. We have already seen the market reach and exceed the primary and secondary targets for the ascending triangle pattern. So these have been retired. We still have live the possible targets for the ascending wedge pattern of a primary target X2 in the 105.35 area and a secondary harder to reach target X3 in the 107.65 area. However, the peak of the market last week just short of the upper time and without any closes over the declining long moving average, that's currently at 103.91, has raised some questions about the efficacy of both of these bullish patterns, especially compared to the admittedly broken but still influential bearish Andrews pitchfork. So far today, what seems to be a uh, small reactionary move back up as the market once again avoids testing the upper time of the ascending wedge pattern that's below. Cable, aka sterling against the US dollar. A fourth countering bearish engulfing pattern yesterday and a small follow on lower to the previous session shooting star pattern type 1 bearish. In its way, it is also a sort of follow on lower to the recent wannabe daily key reversal down that ended up being a less aggressive counter to the counter bearish engulfing pattern. The market finished sitting right on the upper time, oh sorry, upper trend line, currently 118.26, of the recent ascending wedge pattern. Now, much as in Euro, though, there are two core patterns here. I've highlighted the relevant trend lines in blue to help visualize what is going on. We have a late September to date ascending triangle, which has run its course, and also a September to date ascending wedge pattern, currently 114.76 to 118.26. Both patterns have been previously compromised and both have repaired themselves. Late two weeks ago, there was a break higher over the flat trend line of the ascending triangle, giving a possible target for this pattern on the upside of a primary target X in the 120.20 area and a secondary harder to reach target X1 in the 122.5 area. Last week, the market managed to reach the primary target X before pulling back. We'll see if there is still sufficient bullish incentive to reach up to target X1. Meanwhile, if the consecutive closes over the upper trend line of the ascending wedge pattern, I decided to lay out some possible upside targets for this pattern. Thus, we have a primary target X2 in the 124.20 area and a secondary and hard to reach target X3 in the 128 even area. Of the remaining targets above, none seems easily doable right now as we have the declining long moving, ab uh, uh, moving average above and that's currently at 121.91 and also the flatlining medium mo moving average below currently 116.36. So far today, well, a small move higher up to the lesser Fibonacci line of 118.59 before a drop back down to just above the upper trend line of the ascending wedge pattern and looking like a very very small bullish harami, but it is early yet. Euro sterling, a second bearish black crow yesterday and perhaps a significant one as the market makes a second consecutive close below the recently highlighted roof pattern constructed over November. Thus, 
moving closer to the following potential targets on the downside for this pattern. A primary target X in the 8602 zone and a secondary harder to reach, much harder to reach if you ask me honestly, much harder to reach target X1 in the 8545 zone. Interestingly, the second move down and low close was also the second consecutive close below the broken but since repaired, or seemingly repaired, lower time currently at 8709 of the April to August bullish Andrews pitchfork. This support from the lower time, as I previously stated, was a more serious support, so a second consecutive close below it is significant. I'd also like to point out that there is no finessing of this bullish Andrews pitchfork into a shallower bullish shift pitchfork. This is not possible here. It was also the first close below the April 2020 low at 86.69. And we don't seem to have much support below that until the flatlining medium moving average, currently 86.13 which is currently just above target X. Well, so far today, a move down with a lower low than yesterday, but not by much before a reversion to the April 2020 low. However, given that they're in a, we are in a fairly free area until the flatlining medium moving average below, as well as target X at 86.02, I am surprised that the market hasn't taken hold of this opportunity to decline faster and further. US dollar against Indian rupee, higher but still indecisive spinning top yesterday. That was nevertheless still a sixth bullish white soldier. The base of the action was more or less based on the lesser Fibonacci line at 81.63, with a rising short medium moving average below, currently 81.49 in support. The top side was capped by the recent congestion at 81.94 and on a closing basis by the declining short moving average of all things currently at 81.70. Beyond that, the next congestion is a small band between 82.15 to 82.26. I'd now like to discuss the larger scenario, one which I'd previously mentioned in my earlier commentary. So I'd highlighted the September to early November ascending expanding wedge pattern. You can see that in blue on my daily chart. Then late three weeks ago, prices pushed down through this, uh, the lower trend line and carried on down until two weeks ago. This process confirmed the pattern and gave a primary target in the 1890 zone and a secondary harder to reach target X1 in the 8028 zone. Two weeks ago, the market reached the primary target, but we've since seen the market fail to pierce down through the rising medium moving average below, currently 8063, such that I'm now wondering if perhaps, just perhaps, reaching the primary target may have been enough. This requires a little more contemplation and some further data over the next few sessions. In the meantime, we have a fresh September to mid-November bullish Andrews pitchfork. The market is in between the lower time, currently at 81.03, and the middle time, currently 83.08. So far today, well, an attempt high over the short moving average, but not managing to reach yesterday's high as yet before coming back down to the lesser Fibonacci line at uh, 81.63 and staying just about, or just above or around it. US dollar against the Brazilian Real. A bearish opening black Marabozo yesterday and an interesting follow on lower to the previous session's combination of a hanging man pattern and also a bearish engulfing pattern. Prices close back within the broken but possibly now self repairing July to late August bearish shift pitchfork, just under the upper time, currently at 5.3604. The cap of the market had once again been the lesser Fibonacci line at 5.3813. And the low and close were in a fairly free area just above the 50% Fibonacci line of the May 2020 to April 2022 move at 527.37. I continue to say that this does not look that good a support, this 50% uh, Fibonacci line, though the other slightly lower 50% Fibonacci line at 522.76 of the March 2021 to April 22 move does look a better support. I suspect the strength of the latter may be due to the conglomeration, conglomeration of moving averages in between the two 50% Fibonacci lines, specifically the short moving average currently at 525.56, short medium moving average currently at 525.12, and the medium moving average currently 524.64. Two additional points. Firstly, we are set up to make a monthly key reversal for November. Thus, if we close on the 30th of November, either over 
or under 517.91, then we'd be on. Right now, we are looking at the lesser cousin to the monthly key reversal, an outside month. Secondly, we had a golden cross late last week, if only just, of the short medium moving average up over the medium moving average, though I'm not overly impressed by it. US dollar against the Mexican peso. The third bullish white soldier yesterday, and whilst it continues to confirm last week as a bottoming action, including how yesterday punched up through the combination of the declining short moving average, currently at 1952.08, uh, the upper time, currently 1953.07, of the broken but still influential March and July bearish Andrews pitchfork, and finally the April 2022 low at 1971.68. Despite punching up through all of these, the market finished up closing right in amongst all of them. As I've said now for many, many times, Overall, the recent moves lower all rates to the previously highlighted crossover combination in late October of the men previously mentioned broken upper time of the March to July bearish Andrews pitchfork and the middle time, currently 1973-64, of the still intact bearish shift pitchfork for the same move. The question now is whether this move up to this new combination of resistances will reignite that move lower. Below, we next have support from the May low at 1940.70. Now, so far today, well, not much. The market hangs around the previous session's close and the combination of the short moving average, broken upper time, and the 2021 low. Just above, we have some congestion from about 1956 to 1958, dating from June and the high from two weeks ago at 1963.30. Thank you for listening. This short version of broadcast gives the essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast. Copyright is any topic and ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here comes the final bit.